You're so cute. Look at his cute little face. My name's Tarantula Cat. This is Hypnotoad. And welcome to the weird part of the internet. Oh, he peed on me! Oh, he's still going! I recognize that I deserved that, but I'm just gonna say he's never, ever done that to me. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I actually wanted to talk about breeding my A azendemi. A azendemi. A azendemi. Recently I actually was loaned a pretty spicy mature male, so I was kind of honestly dreading it a little bit. My female is fairly docile, but this male seemed pretty crazy. He was just throwing threat postures like crazy. I couldn't even get the lid out of the enclosure when I rehoused him. Anyway, as you guys probably know, I recently bred my Grandma Stola Polka Peas. No, no sack yet. And when I did breed my Grandma Stola Polka Peas, I was able to film the pairing and everything. Unfortunately, that was not the case with the A as enemies because they did nothing for like hours. Now, this species is relatively rare. I would say it's not something that you commonly come by. So I'm pretty, yeah, I was pretty, I wanted a sack. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not really sure if they did pair at all. Essentially, when I put them together, hours went by and nothing was happening. So I actually went ahead and cohabbed them. I have cohabbed breeding tarantulas before. I actually cohabbed my Phonopilma calcotes with a mature male for 24 hours. Haven't ever gotten a sack. Pretty sure it, they didn't pair. I tried pairing them multiple times and just it just never worked. So. so before we get into the video, I wanted to talk a little bit about what cohabbing tarantulas is, like what the method is. Essentially, usually when you're breeding tarantulas, you're going to want to see them pair and make sure that the male actually inserts and that kind of will, you know, be more promising, essentially, that you're going to get a sack. But sometimes when you have but sometimes when you have tarantulas that just aren't doing anything, maybe they're just not feeling each other, maybe they need to warm up a little bit, you have the option to cohab them. And what that essentially means is that you put the lid on the female's enclosure and walk away. You can do it for as long or as short as possible, but keep in mind that when you're cohabbing tarantulas, it greatly increases the male's chances of being eaten because they have nowhere to run. A lot of the times, if a male is going to be eaten, they'll be paired and then the female will kind of oh, gosh. Oh. try to hold the female back maybe with tongs if you can to give them the chance to run. I'm not gonna act like I'm a professional. I'm not, I'm pretty sure most of you guys here know that I'm just like a general hobbyist. I don't try to, you know, really breed tarantulas or vend or anything like that, but from what I know anyway. But when you're essentially trapping the male in the enclosure, your risks go up. So of course, before I did this, I asked the mature male's owner if he was okay with me doing that. I personally would not have done it if I thought that I would get a bad outcome because the species is kind of rare and I do know several other people with females that are interested in the male when I'm done with them. So, you know, of course I wanted to be as careful as possible. So yeah, let's just get into this and then we'll talk talk more in a minute. So there he is kind of chilling. Honestly, he doesn't seem to be in the best shape. I kind of feel like he might be old. I'm hoping that uh, this works, but I might end up just cohabbing them. So yeah, there he is. He's not moving. I'm not really sure, but I'm hoping that my female notices him. She's all the way down in this really cool structure she made. So she's kind of like, yeah, she's she's out. But um, there he is. So it would be really great if uh, if he did something. Literally, like right there. Okay, so it is the next day. I have cohabbed the male and female for 24 hours. So basically, let me just kind of explain a little bit. First, let's, oh, the female's right there. There's the male. So basically, while I remove the male, 
I'm going to try to distract the female with a cricket so that she doesn't get like spooked or anything. So first let me grab her a big stinky cricket and she took it no problem. Now let's try to get this male out of here. So if you guys remember, he's pretty psychotic. Let's see what can be done. Oh boy, there we go. <laughs> yeah, it's so dicey with these guys because they can just be fine and then just bolt. I'm going to... We got everybody home safe. He is ready to go off to the next female. Let's talk a little bit about what happened here really quick. So there is my female right down there and she is enjoying that cricket. But essentially what happened was that when I put the mail in yesterday, they didn't do anything for like hours. Unfortunately, um, sometimes it takes a really long time. So people will do cohabitation and he made it. He made it through the night. I woke up around 4 a.m. I heard a very weird commotion. When I heard the weird commotion, I actually shined my light into her enclosure and I saw her standing up in a threat pose with him like over here in the corner. So I was really confused on like what had just happened. I thought she just tried to eat him. And that's what I told my friend when I woke up in the morning and he's um, bred these before, or he's paired them before. And he actually told me that the females have a really weird mating ritual kind of thing where they just kind of lift up and let the males insert. So that is what she probably was doing. I have a feeling they did pair at least once last night. Cause like I said, I heard it was like the sound of like tarantula paws kind of running. So I have a feeling he paired and pieced cause that's what they do so they don't get eaten. But so I think that is what happened. And I left them in until just now because I just kind of wanted to see if they do anything again, but they did not from what I could tell. She just went back in her hole and he just towered in a corner. So actually let's see if he'll eat because he is concerning me a little bit. He hasn't eaten since I've gotten him like about a week or two maybe ago. So that's, you know, males don't really live very long, but we can go ahead and try to feed him because uh, it would be cool if we can get him to live and pair with another female. So um, he's pretty skittish. I'm just going to pop the lid on like this. Take every possible precaution because I do not want a loose baboon tarantula running around. We will just pop this right on in there. Hopefully he'll take it, but I'll leave that in there with him for like 24 hours if he doesn't take it right now. But yeah, hopefully the little buddy got the job done. I'm I'm hoping that uh, we'll have some babies, but only time will tell at this point. I'm gonna be checking a lot to see if her enclosure, she starts webbing up down there or anything like that. If I get a sack, I will be very happy. So let's hope that's what happens. I'm still waiting on my grandma stole a polka piece, but that can take months. So are you going to take the cricket? He might be too like weirded out. Are you guys like getting a beer or what's going on over here? Oh, all right. <laughs> we'll just see if they if he takes it later. So did they pair? Did they not pair? That's a great question. We won't know. Hopefully we find out soon and get a sack. So as you see, my female did not eat him. I'm very happy about that. I did not think she would, but keep in mind it is unpredictable. There are some tarantulas that would surprise you. My female is fairly docile. In fact, he was the one I was a little bit worried about, even though it's not common for a male to hurt a female. Yeah, I was a little concerned because of his past behavior, but fortunately he was totally chill when I moved him into her enclosure and moved him out of her enclosure, other than being kind of I do believe that they paired. I'm I'm pretty confident that something at least happened. But yeah, all good. He's alive. She's alive. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get a sack. And I might try pairing them again, but probably not going to cohab them all night again. That That is a risk. So, you know, it is a risk. I don't want to lose the mail. But yeah, hopefully it works out. I will let you guys know. Um, I'm really getting into like pairing tarantulas. I, I just really, I don't know. 
I've been having a good time. That's all I have to say. Like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be. Don't forget that I'm an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon, which is linked down below, and I will see you guys soon.